Hey there! You might be wondering, what is this? This is me trying out some road racing for the first time ever, other than in a stock car. And even that was only one week at ARCA. I thought it'd be something to try out the Mazdas. We're at Lime Rock Park. And I am no road racer, but I did put in quite a bit of time practicing this. It's clear. Push. One thing I am not going to do is qualify. First thing I don't know is how to start. I think this is a standing start, and I don't think I'm going to have a clue how to do it. I'm just going to start behind everyone. Uh, too wide there. See, I'm. I have okay laps, and then I just have brain farts, and all it takes is one little screw up to kind of screw up your next like four turns. That being said, this is a rookie class. The track temperature's rising. It's now 108 oh. Fahrenheit. Car up right side's clear. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do there. So that was bad. Sucks to get a 4x in practice. I'm not sure why people are spinning it out there. I saw that quite a bit. I'm just I'm not approaching this like I normally would. I'm too slow. How long does this practice? Oh, it's almost over. So, um, it's going to be interesting. I'm just going to get off the track right now. So what I'm going to do... Now, I don't know how to, uh... Black flag myself coming out of the pits. Get a lot of people from all over the world in these races. Yeah, there was something like 466 people signed up for this race. I think one time I saw a truck race get like 150, and I was like, wow, this is just this more participation. This might be the most driven car on the service. I don't know for sure, but I feel like it might be. I really wish I wanted to hit that guy there. I kind of froze up and took neither option. I'm going to try to black flag myself coming out of the pits and use the practice or the the qualifying as a practice. If that works. Tracks clear. Push push push. Okay, Justin. We've got to that work? to get the job done, mate. No. How do I black flag myself? Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to use this time to practice. I do not... I've tried practicing stopping from a dead start, and I don't know, I feel like it's a slow launch, but maybe that's what everything looks like. I'm not that familiar with these, with these cars. I feel like the outlap or whatever, the tires feel just a little cold. Got to be a little careful. Doesn't take long for them to come up. Ugh. You're gonna see some amateur. I gotta, I gotta try to avoid the off tracks at all costs because that'll add up quick and I'll get disqualified. This, from what I saw in a video guide, I'm not even in the right gear here. All right, we'll take this as a starting a fresh lap. But I think that's supposed to be flat out, and I've hit it a few times, but most times I screw it up. Right there. I, I, I gotta not do that too. These off tracks are gonna kill me. So, and these are all adding up to my safety rating, I guess, since I'm uh, in an official session now. So I gotta keep that. I promise you, I'm capable of being a little better than this. First time I've ever driven this course in this car while trying to also talk. Here it's like, oh, I, sometimes I forget to shift there, which is bad. I let off just so I would make the turn, but I know that's really slow. I have my daughter here. It's the first time I've ever recorded with her. So if there's any background noise, 
that's what it is. This turn is so important for speed, and it's... You get so impatient with it. It's like... You gotta hug the inside there to set this one up. Because if you don't take this flat out, you lose so much speed. Because this is all a big flat out section. I've seen people spinning out here. Oh. Alright, I was going to screw that up, but the thing saved me. I've seen people spinning out there. I have a Peppa Pig scheme. I, The only one I could find. I don't like this message on the back. Punt someone, and if it works, then good. If it doesn't, then try again. Oh, looks like I, I got kicked off. So this happened to me the other day. Let me try to get back. Hello, I am back. Um, so the qualifying session wasn't even close to over. Looks like a lot of people aren't putting in a lap. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. We have two laps to get the job done. Was that unsafe enough for your game? I hope that doesn't come a big problem with me. My 358 mod race yesterday that happened and I missed. Ugh, so bad. I missed the grid. And that was frustrating. If I missed the grid on this one and I had to start from the pits, I don't think I would be that bothered by it. But I don't want that to be a problem that I'm having a lot, because that's frustrating. I almost went too fast there. Don't forget to shift. I know that's not the fastest way through there, but it's faster than going off track. wide there not so fast but not spinning out I don't know how people are spinning out through there uh, I forgot what corner that was so I braked I'm not that worried about my uh, road safety rating and I rating I'm not gonna lie if anything it's it's higher than it should be, and it'll get me into bad, into splits I don't belong in. If I decide to, uh, yeah, this paint scheme's pretty ugly, but if I decide to do uh, stock cars on the road races, which I'm skipping this week in Watkins Glen, I'd rather do this. I would like a Peppa scheme for this car, but maybe I'll have to make it. But I don't have such talent. I have watched guides on it, but. So, uh, 12 cars. So 450 people signed up and they put 12 in this, what is this split? Like 50 times? Yeah, 30 times? 40 times? A lot of times? So, um, I've been in the 101s before, but it's not consistent. I think beating a 103 from time to time might happen. I don't have a clue how to do the standing start. I mean, in theory. Man, yeah, I'm recording. Okay, I was like, did I pause? In theory, you uh, give it some revs and let the clutch out. But if these guys all get away from me, that's fine. I don't have. I practiced a little, only a little, in a session with the other people. And I wouldn't say it was enough to uh, be good at it. I 
Should be interesting. So yeah, this is uh, something I'm willing to try. I don't know if I'll do it a lot, but I'm not doing trucks or Xfinity this week because they're at a road course. And I know it uses your road eye rating and safety rating, so I wouldn't have anything to lose there either. But get out of my comfort zone, try something new. My goal here, I don't care if I get 12th place. I just don't want to do anything too stupid. I don't want to wreck anyone. I want to try not to get wrecked. We'll see. Uh, what's the hold up here? Probably waiting for someone to grid up. Having no one behind me will be uh, nice. This is literally, I, I don't even watch these races very often. The people I watch uh, on YouTube have left this behind, Rookie uh, Mazda, so I, you know, they do some road races, but it's not in Rookie Mazdas. I might be in Rookie Mazdas for my entire road racing career, I don't know. I'm just going to do what I think is right. right Justin, get ready. Go, go, go. Okay, it looks like these cars just don't get going that fast. I already took off over somebody else, which is not something I was expecting to do. Oh my god, my foot's still on the clutch. That shows you how little I use the clutch pedal. That could have been bad. Good thing I didn't plow into anyone. That's embarrassing. Okay, foot on the brake now. Let's just let this crap sort out, if it's going to. Great start, well done. I braked to there where I, I normally wouldn't on my own, but I didn't know what to expect from these guys. Off the gas. That person has got something bad going on. Behind me has got something bad going on. We survived a lap. I don't know where this person's going to break. I know where I would break, but I'm not going to plow them off the track, even if they break way earlier than I feel like they should. Feel an off track coming there, so I let off the gas. I don't. I literally have no idea how long this race is. When I get a moment of, oops, that was not good. Twenty laps. Oh yikes! <laughs> I guess that's not that long of a race. All right. I kind of am glad that guy's gotten ahead of me a little bit. I just want to run laps. Okay. Is the car leaving the pits? The leader has just done a oh god. Perfect place for that guy to be leaving the pits. The car ahead has just done a 102.58. Your lap time was 103.73. Why did he just stop there? All right, Justin. We've gone out of track limits. Keep it between your car right. Right side's clear. No idea what that guy was doing. I'll have to watch that back, but I did not expect him to just stop there. What am I? I'm up to a 1x? Okay. Okay, normally I'd be in fourth here, so let's shift down. I am out of sorts. I'm not coming at this like I normally would because of that. It's really a rhythm game in these. And I suppose you got to get used to being off your rhythm. Because other cars are going to throw off your rhythm. Hopefully not because of that sort of thing, but, you know, just by being there. Just done a 101.73. Uh, that car could have just waited for me to go by before he came out. You know, that's what I would have done. P7. Uh, 
There's an off. Oh, it didn't give me an off track. It was close, though, I'll tell you. Car behind me will probably reel me in. I get the feeling he was really just waiting. Of course, he might just be one of those grinding safety rating guys who just rides around and doesn't get into any racing. I'm not trying to not get into any racing. I'm just trying to not be in the way of somebody who's faster than me. Lifting off a little there, but that lap time was one oh three point zero zero. doing these very good at all but you know what it's my first ever race like this so I don't have my delta borrowed I need to remember to turn that crap on I can't be trusted to do it in the middle of the race One oh one point zero five. That's going to be an off track for sure. Track limits. Totally threw this corner off. It's just bad. Yellow flag. I see cars everywhere. I'm taking this corner terrible, but I'm sort of distracted. That's that one car that. If nothing comes out of this, I can say there was a car who belonged in this even less than me. But that's, I mean, that's not being fair to them. Everybody has, deserves a shot, I guess. Had to let off. I know from experience that if I hop it that hard, I'm not going to make the turn. All right, let's try to improve, not get worse. P6. At least we didn't go off track there. We didn't do it fast, but we didn't go off track. Somehow I'm doing this slower than the last lap, even so. I'm taking that really bad. The gap to black behind is increasing. It's now 5.7. Car on the left. Not slow enough for me to catch him. But I'm not in this for positions, really. Okay, Justin. The next car is Lopez. bit of activity ahead of me. I got to keep my out, eye out on that, just in case. Almost forgot to shift there. I don't know why I forget to shift there a lot. See, if you hit that curb just right, it helps turn you. 
If you hit it too hard, it screws you up. That was a 102.90. Hitting that curb kind of helps too. I'm basing my driving line off of a, a guide video I watched where the guy was able to do a, a low 101. The gap in front is now 3.3 seconds. There may be better ways to do it. Took that really bad. That's okay. I'm only at a 2x, which is fairly amazing for me. The guide I watched is like, this is the simplest turn on, on the track. And I'm like, it's the one I cannot figure out. I screwed up so badly. Pitched it in there. I don't know how tire wear. I'm assuming it's a thing just like in any other race. So I'll have to keep that in mind, I guess. See, that's supposed to be flat out too, but I'm always giving it just a little lift because I'm scared that it's not going to make it, I guess. That was bad. Car left. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. If he would have like screwed up harder, I would have taken it, but since he was going to be right on my behind, I was just like, got to shift, because I'm talking. It's not worth it. I am not experienced. I'm not saying these guys are either. We're all rookies, obviously. Okay, Justin, halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. Another almost off track. Sixth place. You don't want to hit them that hard. It just throws your tires up off the ground for a second. It's like, well, why am I getting so much green? That's right, because I slowed up with this guy by killing my lap time. I could have probably done it a little better than that. The gap to Lopez ahead is now 2.2 seconds. I see someone gaining on me from behind. That's to be expected. The gap behind is now Feel like I was gonna go off there. That lap time was 102.57. Missed the shift down there, screwed up my uh, flow. Let's just keep it on the track and live to fight another day. Another corner, I should say. But it really slowed me down, losing a lot of time. So obviously I have a lot that I could gain lap-wise on this track. That was bad. 
That was really bad. That's the worst I've done that. I see that guy's... We're gonna let him by on the straight. Car left. He's still there. Clear left. Come on, Justin. Keep pushing. We might get him back. Come on, we can do better than this. Focus on your exits. Keep it smooth. So the whole start of that was me coming in here way too hot. see it just on my delta there my last lap delta the gap ahead is now 1.5 I definitely feel like tire wear is a thing it's not sticking like it was that's okay I think my daughter fell asleep which is good cuz I didn't want her make it too much noise in this video Oh, Watch out. she just told me she's not asleep, which is good. I was going to also say, because we're going out to eat after this, I didn't want to have to try to wake her up. That's funny, she's listening to me and just, she's being good. I have the best daughter. Sorry for anyone else. <laughs> she's talking back there. All right, concentrate on the turns, especially this one. I uh, forgot what turn that was and just stopped the brake for no reason. Okay. Stop forgetting what turn you're in. That's not a good way to race. that stuff right and then you can take this flat out and you just see how much better it is so consistency is obviously not there yet but now don't forget what turn this is you don't need to hit the brakes look at that green bar just go it's like hitting the brakes was the absolute wrong thing to do there I know I'm braking wrong there. I don't, my braking is probably just wrong in general. And I, I've hear, heard tell that if you're going to spend money on equipment, the pedals is the way to go before you go with the wheel, assuming you're not buying a set. Okay, Justin, push now. We can catch up here. The only way I'm going to catch anyone is if they really go off track. And that, I mean, there's people going off track, but even still, they're ahead of me. The car behind is now 7.0. car behind me is a lap car.
front is now 3.0. Hit the brake there again, but not as much. I realized that the second I tapped it, but that was wrong. I'm getting fatigued. Two laps remaining. That was bad. That was real bad. On your right. Hold your clear right. Let's get him around me. I screwed that up. He had such a run. He's lapped down, and even if he wasn't, I'm not fighting anyone. One to go. Oh no, another off track. Yellow flag, caution, stay between the lines, please just in. Oh no. Kill car. Get him to gear. Oh no. Track limits, watch those lines. This last lap is going to heck for me. Let's just limp it home. That sucks. I don't think I lost another position out of that, but maybe I did. I don't even remember where I was. That's it. Who cares? I made it through this race. P8, that's it. We're done. I got another 3x in the last lap after having only two in the first 19. Very disappointing, but at the same time, if you would have told me at the beginning of this race that I would only have a 5x and that I wouldn't wreck anyone, well, I had that incident early, but we're going to see that again. I mean, it wasn't a great race, but it was my first. I am not upset with it. Let's see what happened out there. Incidents wise. Five spins off. It's the wall. Struggles to get back going. We got the six. Off track. And really hurts their car. The three. Five. It's like repeat let's get this uh, UI out of the way struggling there yeah that must that must have been what I did at the very end after doing that never not in all my practices and not in the first 19 laps of this race oh man that car is ugly I mean most people are gonna say a Peppa scheme is ugly in general but I think it could be good looking but the colors are wrong, and that slogan on the back is terrible. Luckily, nobody was ever behind me too much to read it. Oh, yeah. 
Not how you're supposed to do it, I'm sure. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. We'll see it eventually, I'm sure. You don't want to hit him like that. It's not good for the car. Kind of want to straight line it through. Yep, same there. Nice bright yellow car here. Just took that too fast and too wide. Similar story. I'm taking it my uh, incident is not going to show up. I kind of want to see that. So I'll try to find it after we're through these. Kind of weird how some of this stuff shows up and some of it doesn't on these incidents. I don't get it. I could just take Solus and that I wasn't the only one who had that issue. I just I hate it that it was on the last time through. I had run for me a pretty dang clean race, I thought, but that's all good. And then I couldn't get it into gear, and I struggled. It's a good thing nobody was around. That was it, huh? Let me try to find my... It was pretty early on, right? It had to have been... Oh, that's not me. Find me, then my laps. I don't know how much... Is... Oh, that's ugly. Yeah, so... I mean, I guess. He came out. If he would have kept going, it would have been fine, but... Yeah, I blamed him, and he did go really slow there, but I definitely just kept driving my line as though no one was there. That's, he was going really slow, but it's on me to not hit him there, so good on him for still letting me by and not taking me out. All right, well, that's the end of my first ever Mazda race in the rookies class. Mazda, uh, I just said Mazda. Lime Rock Park was the track. The thing that sucks about road racing is, you know, I took a long, I took many hours. You might be like, wow, that was many hours of practice. Yeah, I, I practiced it some yesterday and probably for two hours today just to learn the track to where I know what turns are coming up and what kind of speed I can take. And every time you do a new track with an oval course it's, or oval track, it's so much easier. I mean, I'm not saying there's no skill and nothing to learn, but I can usually give it a half hour and then go out and be halfway decent. That's probably not going to be the case with road racing, so we'll see how much of it I do. But Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.